definitely not supposed to do that. Today we're focusing on the cam plate um, and the cams and the bearings and the secondary chain tensioner. Um, as you can see I already got this bearing out. Uh, I think they call it the leading bearing because it's in the front side of the cam plate and orientation of the bike. This is it right here. And then this is the new one. Uh, this is a Timken bearing. Um, so now I'm going to press this bearing out, uh, which is this bearing. And this also comes with a new um, washer, and I think they called this a bushing, maybe? So I also need to take that cam, this cam, and remove that ring and that washer from this cam. Let's see if this will focus for me. Focus. Nope, okay. But yeah, right here is the ring. Underneath it's the washer. So I gotta figure out a way to get this off. So once those are out, or this bearing is out, and those are off, I will be putting the new ones back on, the new washer and, and ring on this cam. And then I'll be aligning the cams and then pressing them into the cam plate. And then putting the new, um, what are they, is this the retaining plate on. So yeah, it should be uh, pretty straightforward. Just pretty much push the old ones out, put the new ones in. Um, there are two timing marks on the cams. And those need to be aligned facing inwards at each other. Um, I also transferred the marks over to the back side if you can see so I can see what I'm doing as I'm pressing them in from the top All right, so I'm gonna get this one pressed out and yeah we'll go from there there we go that's the uh, the bearing pressed out alright so all the bearings are out as you can see no more bearings in here so I need to Go over my or my service manual here and figure out exactly the order that this needs to be done in because there is an order. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bearing pressed onto this cam. Now this one actually needs to be pressed onto the cam and then you put the timing chain on, align the timing against the cams and then you press the cam and bearing into the plate in tandem with the other cam. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that bearing pressed onto this this cam and then you put the sear clip on here and then just pretty much set it aside until you're ready for everything else. But it does say to put a little bit of engine oil onto this uh, mounting surface. So I have some here in a cap. I'm just going to lather on here just so there's no you know, ex excess friction. Now the service manual recommends all these gyms tools. I know of Jim's tools. I know they're very good at the purpose they are designed for, but I'm a cheap ass and I don't have any of those. So I'm gonna be setting the bearing on here and then using my press tools, AKA some old sockets that I don't need anymore to evenly press them on. Yep, that worked great. And there's the, uh, the new bearing pressed on. And the sear clip goes in that groove right there, as you can see, and I'll put that on right now. Okay, sear clip. And there we go. And now this actually gets pressed in as a whole unit into the cam plate. I don't know if that was the right side or not, but so again, I gotta figure out how to get these little bastards off here, but I think I'm gonna do that off camera because it's probably gonna be some some not smart shit I'm about to do. All right, I'm gonna be pressing in the trailing bearing now into the cam plate. This is the one of the two that gets pressed into the cam plate and then the cam goes inside of it as opposed to the other one being pressed onto the cam and then the cam being pressed into the plate. Now, this has all been lubed with the, uh, the engine oil as per the um, service manual. And I just have this plate here on the bottom to offset the tensioner pegs and the uh, timing chain guy housing on the front of the cam plate here. That was 
definitely not supposed to do that. Nope, that broke. Right, let's see if I can press this out then. Well, shit. Yeah, I fucked that up. I guess I should have practiced before I actually used the new bearing. Well, I'm have to get a new one. And, uh, try this again, because that bitch is broke. the mishap uh, the other day with this um, with this bearing shattering this is the roller bearing for the actual cam uh, yeah this one shattered as I'm sure you saw just a second ago in the video <laughs> due to my own negligence so learning experience um, that's kind of what I'm all about here so I did pick up a new bearing today. This is the new one um, from my local Harley dealer, and the part number is eight nine eight three uh, roller bearing. Ring. These rings and these washers that go onto the cam, uh, I they are proprietary, if that makes sense. They are specific to the bearing they come with, and um, if you use the wrong washer or um, ring they can throw off the balance of the bearing or the tolerances and whatnot so when you get a new bearing you have to press on the new ring and washer so I'm gonna get this bearing pressed into the cam and then we can get the actual cams pressed onto the plate and then put the locking plate onto this is the new locking plate that came with the uh, install kit uh, new plate, new hardware, we'll get all that put on, and that's just one less thing to worry about. I, pra I practiced earlier with a new way I'm going to do it, and it worked great with um, the old bearing, so if it broke, I wasn't too worried about it. But yeah, did practice, should be good to go. So looking at the cam plate from the front, this bearing goes on the left side, side and then... It came with the bearing already pressed on with the sear clip goes on the right side so set this aside for now um, I have just a little cap full of oil here just a light layer per the service manual and then I'm also going to put a light layer onto the actual bearing okay so I'm gonna move the camera over to the press so you can see the correct way to do this without fucking breaking a bearing. I think what the issue was last time with this was the um, socket I used was too small, as in too small in diameter, so it was pressing onto the actual roller part of the roller bearing. I think it caused too much uneven pressure and it ended up, you know, causing that pressure onto the outside and just shattered. The I have now is a one in three sixteens. It's pretty fucking big. And it fits all the way to the edge of the bearing. Like I said, I practiced this earlier with this exact setup on the original bearing that was in here just to make sure it went in uh, smoothly and it went in great. So I shouldn't have any issues with, with uh, this setup this time. It's flush. It's seated all the way. You can see on the inside of the, the actual cam plate here. It's seated all the way in. Um, everything moves freely. Yeah, so that's good to go. That was a whole now we should be able to get the actual cams pressed in and yeah, one step closer. All right, so that's gonna be part one of the cam plate rebuild. As you can see, I go over what not to do I never really had any experience doing bearing pressing before, so that's why that mistake happened. But I got it fixed. That was about a $50 mistake, though that bearing is expensive. So I definitely should have practiced with the old one beforehand. Learning lesson for me. It should only be another video, or maybe two, for the cam plate. Because the only thing really I have left to do is press the cams in. 
and uh, get the oil pump attached. I did get the new fueling OE Plus oil pump, um, so that's a nice upgrade. That's about it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, tell me what you think. Um, if you have any better tips for bearing pressing, let me know. Like I said, I don't know if I'm doing anything correctly or the most correct way. I'm just doing it how I know how to do it with what I have at my disposal. So, thanks for watching.